should look pretty weird. Welcome back to the workshop. So, I thought today we would make a scrap wood project using scrap wood. Bing. Now, I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing today, but it's definitely going to be pretty funky. We're back! Yeah. <laughs> I thought we would jump on the lathe and make a couple of really cool, funky looking boxes of some kind with some really weird inserts. Let's see what we can find. So this is my scrap wood box. <laughs> it's not necessarily scrap wood. It's just kind of off cuts from bits and pieces and jobs and you know, projects. Oh, remember this. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a disaster. I did actually start doing something with them. Um, so look, these are kind of off cuts from that project and I sort of started to shape them up into, I don't know, little cheese pieces <laughs> with a kind of view to sort of make something out there. I reckon if these, you know, these would shine up quite nice. Um, so I am sort of using the scrap bits that I've got. I don't know, I'll make something with that someday. Um, so let's have a look what we've got in here. Just to make what we need to do. This is just off cuts and stuff and things that I mess about with. What's this? What's this? I've been playing around with that. Um, it's a cheap bit of wood, I think, but that might do. There we go, what about this? That'll do. Now I know what you're thinking. These aren't scrap bits of wood, Nick. Well, they're in my scrap box. So they kind of are. To me. Before we carry on with this madness, I just want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Want to be a hero of your own fantasy? Enter the epic world of Tellera where dark elves meet the sacred order and the banner lords are in an endless war with the undead hordes. Collect, equip, train and upgrade your team of heroes in order to start a journey of a lifetime. Raid Shadow Legends will take you to the world of dark fantasy and realism. And by the time you're watching this video, the brand new Tag Team Arena should be live in game. Tag Arena is the next level of competition PvP battles. Instead of a single four versus four battle, like in the classic arena, it's actually a series of three four versus four battles. It's best of three. Whoever wins two battles wins a series. <laughs> it's basically arena on hard mode. And since it's brand new, the developers will be giving out some special rewards soon to whoever manages to finish high up in the rankings. So if you're like me and you love truly competitive PvP with some big rewards, you're gonna love Tag Arena. This game is awesome. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description and click on the special links. If you're a new player, you'll get 50,000 silver, plus 50 gems, one energy refill, one clan boss key, five mystery shards, one day XP booster, and one free champion, Hexweaver. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Be quick, because these rewards are only available for the next 30 days, and they're only for new players. Check out the links below, folks. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Raid Shadow Legends.
Okay, folks, so this is now nice and round. Uh, and I put a 10 in on this end and a 10 in on this end. And I'll show you why in just a sec. <laughs> so, actually, not a bad piece of wood, actually. I don't know what it is. Anyone got any ideas of what wood this is? I don't know. Um, I don't think it's an expensive wood or an exotic wood that I can think of, but hmm, not sure. Uh, don't worry about these bits of chip out here. Um, we can sort that later on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this in the chuck so it's nice and safe. So I put two coats of sand in sealer on this, then applied some Yorkshire. If you haven't tried this stuff, it's pretty good. It's from Yorkshire and it's got loads of grit in it. I'll leave a link below. beautifully folks <laughs> I haven't done one of these types of fittings for a little while actually I always kind of do it the other way around um, where you uh, oh I can't remember now um, but um, this is another way of obviously doing lids and I think actually this way is a, is a nicer fit if you can get it right um, it is kind of a little bit tricky because if you take too much off you know it doesn't fit very well but then if you've got enough stock to play with you can just keep going down and down and down. <laughs> I've done that before and I've got right down to the end. It's been like about this big. Um, but that fits quite nicely. So there is our kind of lidded pot so far. Um, this is going to look pretty cool, guys, because I am going to, like, I'm going to gouge all this out now because I'm going to insert some craziness into this. Insertion. <laughs> And here's another one I made earlier. I made it earlier? <laughs> I made earlier. So we've got two Funkadelic pots. Uh, and what we need to do now is find some nice, cool funkiness to put in the top, I think, would be quite cool. So this one comes up quite nice. So I'll finish this one off camera because I'm sure you didn't want to see me do um, two of them. <laughs> 
So it's finished quite nice. Not sure what wood this is, but it's uh, again a fairly cheap, cheap wood. I think so is this one. But um, I say cheap. It's not you know what I mean is it's not exotic or fancy. You know what I mean. <laughs> Lid fits quite nice. There we go. So obviously I'll be taking the end of that off and same there. But first, let's find some weirdness. Okay folks, let's get these two lids in the pressure pot, leave them overnight, and then we can get this badger back on the lathe. looks pretty funky and this one so yeah they look nice look at that that's the nice easy inlay that i added uh nice bit of burr there as well so that looks quite cool bit of a pain that the resin has leaked over that which is hmm, gonna cause a bit of a problem but i'll have to try and sort that out but overall Pretty neat. Let's get these back on the lathe. Watch this baby come alive! Oh yes! Woo! So as you can see, this is turning out really nice. Now, we're gonna apply some creamy paste. Look at this, folks. 
That is looking beautiful. I really like that. That does look nice. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I'm going to take this off now. It's nice and smooth. Take this off, and then we're going to finish the bottom. Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and do the other one. Let's do it. And these turned out pretty well. So I didn't show you this one, but obviously you don't want to see me making two, do you? But I love that. It's got the old chopped up kind of crayon in there. That looks kind of nice, actually. Um, and these were kind of scrap bits of wood, really, just in my scrap bits of wood pot. Look at this one. That's quite cool. I kind of like that idea uh, in there. And uh, again, you know, <laughs> I'm not blowing my own trumpet as such, but I just kind of like that. <laughs> um, then I used the Easy Inlay from Easy Inlays by Scott Grove. Um, and they turned out really nice. Cheers, Scott, for those. He gave me these at Maker Central um, last year to try, and I've only just got round to <laughs> using them. So uh, they're really nice, actually, that stuff. So. Um, I'll leave a link, if I can find one, I'll leave a link for this stuff, because it's pretty cool. Um, and then a little burr in there as well. Got my emblem on the back, which I've actually resined in. I used to uh, super glue these in there, but after time, after a while, they just fall out. So I always put a little dabble of resin in there now, uh, so that's never coming out, ever. Uh, well, I hope you like them. Um, they're a bit different. Um, got a nice fit on here, it fits really well. Little bit tight, but better to be tight. You don't want it falling off. There, there we go, <laughs> inside. Uh, we had a little bit of an issue with the resin uh, that I put in there too, put too much and it dropped over, but I just sort of sanded that back. Um, took a little while, but got rid of it and that fits kind of nicely. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not that tight. <laughs> it's just well fitted. And this one uh, fits quite nicely. Ooh. We like a clicky top, don't we? So shine them up quite well. Um, I did use the uh, sand and sealer, then uh, some Yorkshire grit, and then I used the shallow wax. Love that stuff. Um, and then actually I did put these back on the lay and did a bit of buffing wheel action with them because I wanted to just give them a little bit of extra shine, so I used the buffing wheel as well. And that's what gives that extra shine. So, bit of wood turning for you, a couple of really cool, funky looking pots made from scrap bits of wood, bit of resin, 
Hope you liked it. Um, if you like this sort of stuff more than the sort of other bits and pieces that I chuck in there on the channel, please let me know. If you prefer me to do more wood turning, uh, you know, kind of funky little pots, bowls, vases, you know, things like that, let me know in the comments. I always just like to please everyone and, you know, and I do like to do other things because I want to try and expand on my skills, if you know what I mean. Please check out today's sponsor. These sponsors are great to have for the channel and great for me. It really does help the channel and it really does help me. I get tons and tons of offers for sponsors, um, but I only choose the ones that I feel relevant to you guys. Ones that I think that you will like. And this one is pretty cool. Please check them out. Ray Shadow Legends. You'll love it. Plus, it's free. I got this in the post from Ruby. And these. I really appreciate you sending this stuff down, Ruby. Thank you. Diane. Cheers, Diane. Oh, bit of news, just to let you know, the show that I did on Channel 4, Mend It For Money, has been fully commissioned by Channel 4, so, uh, which is great news, so we'll be uh, doing some more series. I think they're making about 16, 16 or 19 uh, episodes. Um, I'm obviously not going to be in all of them, but I will pop up now and again uh, and be in a few of those. So look out for that. Uh, we're doing some filming, I think, this year, um, and it will probably come out next year. Channel 4, Mend It For Money. Oh, yeah. If you didn't see me in the first one, check it out. You might still be able to download it from Catch Up um, or on the internet somewhere. Google it. Let me know if you've got any ideas for me as well, because I'm running out of ideas of things to make. I've got a few ideas, but I'm not sure if they're going to be any good or not. Mm, we'll see. Well, I do hope everyone is well, and thank you so much for coming over to the channel. Thanks for those of you that are stuck by me in the channel. Uh, again, I know some of the content has been a bit strange and not to everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> Uh, so I apologise for that, but um, I am going to start getting into a bit more of the wood turn inside of things, which I think a lot of you do like. So stick with me. And if you like this video, please help me out and give it a share and a thumbs up. If you don't follow me on Instagram, check me out. I've got a personal Instagram and a Nick Zametti one. It's Nick Zametti and the other one is Zametti. Uh, if you want to know bits and pieces that I get on, uh, that I get on, little bits. <laughs> if you want to know what I'm up to, basically, in my day-to-day -day life and in the workshop, check me out on Insta. If you don't know, Maker Central is back on next year now. We postponed it to May 2021, but it's going to be epic. It's going to be huge. Loads of people coming. Bobby Duke, Peter Brown, Jimmy DeResta, Jesse Ueda, Jim Overton, to name just a few. Loads of people are going to be there. Loads of things happening. Come along, grab a ticket. Tickets are on sale now. Plus, for those of you that are stuck with us this year and been so kind in supporting us, we were going to be selling these at the show. But now, everyone is going to get one. Yep, it's the Maker Central 2020 coin. These are going to be collectibles. <laughs> so we had plans, and we obviously purchased these uh, way before lockdown. So these were going to be put on the merch stand uh, and on the shop for you guys to buy. But we have decided that everyone will get one of these coins for free because you've supported us and uh, looked after us as a company throughout this lockdown. It's been pretty challenging for us, but because of all your support, including the exhibitors, we've been able to stay afloat, keep going, and rock on to next year. So when you turn up to the show, you'll be getting one of these badges which will be pretty cool. Now I know obviously it'll be 2021, but we will have 2021 coins also. They're so cool. Check out the quality of these. Really, really nice coins. 2020 on them, beautiful. So grab yours next year. Well, I'll love you and leave you folks on that note. Uh, take care, have a fabulous weekend, whatever you're up to. Again, please share this video and give us a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and if you want to see a bit more content like this. Take care and I'll see you all really soon.